Hey guys, it's Dr. 5 here with episode number 15 of our Borussia Dortmund career mode on FIFA 21. We're back. It has been a while. It has been over a week. I think it's been nine days since the last Borussia Dortmund career mode, but we're back. We're in action. We've got a few more episodes left this season. And if we win everything this season, I think we're going to stay in the same save, but move on to a new team and have a bit more of a challenge. Maybe we'll get ourselves fired on purpose so that we get an, um, a lower down team to choose from. That's what I'm thinking right now. But we come into this one, into the Bundesliga, taking on RB Leipzig, a team, one of the few teams that has beaten us this season. They beat us 4-3. If you remember the comeback, we went 2-0 down, we went 3-2 up, and then they came back and made it 4-3 late in the game but this game it's going to be very very different as Erling Haaland on the turn plays it to Bellingham right back to him gets it onto a stronger left foot and he beats Golashi making it 1-0 away from home at the Red Bull Arena we have improved tenfold since the last time we played Leipzig and that is a fact we've just improved so much more than any other team in the Bundesliga we are the best team right now and I can tell you that right now, Erling Haaland is 88 rated and Jaden Sancho is 91 rated. He has gone up 3 or 4 overall this season from good performances from the training that we've put him on. He just scored there, did the sipping the tea. I think that's an Alex Morgan celebration. And we go 2 0 up in this one. 33 minutes in, another chance here as Jaden Sancho. Turns on the skills, just charging through him, cutting him like a hot knife through butter. Knocks it through to Bellingham, he goes for an audacious little volley, but it is caught by Gulashi. And then a couple of minutes later, Schultz tries to whip it across. It does fall, Visca is going to play the ball straight to Schultz, who had his cross just blocked then. Up to Haaland, Haaland knocks it through to Sancho, lovely bit of skill, control of the ball. Skips past Gulashi, but Angelino is there to get the block in. And I'll tell you what, this game in the second half was mainly just us sitting on our lead so that we can confirm the victory, getting all three points. I didn't want to risk making the game 2-1 and then 2-2, dropping two points in a game we really should win. But we defended well, we attacked well. 2-0 is the final score. Three points will be coming back with us as we continue our push for the Bundesliga title. Off the Bayern are first right now. We're bored of Bayern winning the Bundesliga. They've done it for the past, like... How many seasons? Seven, eight seasons? Eight, I think it's eight seasons in a row that they've won the Bundesliga. We want to change that. And as we come against Borussia Mönchengladbach, they've signed Mesut Özil for the cam position. Very, very decent signing. He's still got it. He's still got it. But something I've done off camera, I haven't included it, is I have accepted the squad role, or the manager role, sorry, for the Netherlands. So once this Borussia Dortmund career is done... We can go and have a nice summer at the European Championships with the Netherlands. Probably one of the more favourites of the teams to actually go on and win the whole competition is the Netherlands. Thankfully, if Van Dijk can return from injury, uh, they've got a strong midfield, strong attack. So yeah, I mean, I mean they are very strong favourites. But we do go 1-0 against Borussia Mönchengladbach, Mönchengladbach with Jaden Sancho putting us 1-0 up once again. He has been on fine form this season as, again, he receives the ball. And this is straight from their kickoff. Schinkel intercepts. Sancho down to Emre Chan. Turns Nehaus into Haaland. Haaland up to Brandt. Holds it off at passes mound really nicely. Cuts back inside. Threads it through. And again, on his stronger foot. Very similar to the goal we scored against RB Leipzig. And it is Erling Haaland tucking it past the goalkeeper in Jan Sommer to make it 2-0. Almost instantaneous, instantaneously after going 1-0 up in this game. So we're playing really, really well. And we're not done there. As Mesut Erzil knocks the ball to Kramer. Hummels intercepts. I think Kramer got pushed in the back there. Thankfully, the referee didn't call it back for a foul. And we've got a counter-attacking opportunity here as Witzel holds off Mesut Erzil and knocks the ball out to Emerson. Haaland holds it up, finds Emery Chan. Again, holding up past his defender really nicely. Scholes out wide. There's a man in the middle in, Julian Brandt. And he just hits it first time. Defender did get a block on it, but I think it was going in either way had he not got the block on it. 
So it should go down as a Julian Brandt goal and not an own goal. 3-0 in this one. Now we're cruising to a historic victory as Haaland in the middle calls for the cross. Doesn't quite get it, but it's shanked by the defender. And it's going to come right back at him as Emery Chan goes for the audacious little volley. Didn't quite work out as Haaland skips past. Flicks the ball up over his head. First time volley on that stronger left foot. That's what confidence can do for you, boys. That is what confidence can do as we're 4-0 up now. Erling Haaland with another goal in this game. And we're, again, we're not done there. We want more goals. We want to break the goal-scoring record for goals scored in a Bundesliga season. It's a lovely drilled cross there and a lovely finish by Erling Haaland, who looks right now as if he's going to secure the top goal scorer in the Bundesliga spot. He's already got a lot of goals this season, and I don't really see anyone catching up with him. Um, if anyone's going to catch up with him, it's going to be Julian Brandt or, or uh, Jadon Sancho. They are probably the two closest to him. He is flying. As I've said before, he's improved so much since the beginning of the season. I think this Haaland is probably better than the Haaland we had at Arsenal. As Jude Bellingham with the lovely control skips past his man not once but twice and then just passes it into the back of the net. Past Jan Sommer who's had an absolute nightmare here today as we score our sixth and final goal. Erling Haaland goes over and collects the match ball for scoring three of those. And we are cruising as we go into the Champions League against Bar uh, Barcelona. We are obviously 2 0 up already on aggregate. Goals coming from who scored? Marco Royce, I think it was, and Jude Bellingham late on in the game. No, it's Jaden Sancho, it's the two Englishmen that scored for us, if I remember correctly. But we're 2 0 up in this one. Their squad is alright, it's not the strongest defensively. And we're going to look to take advantage of that. But 34 minutes in, a chance here for Griezmann. Good header, but it's nice nice and equally matched by Berkey. Throwing out to Schinkel, and we're going to look to start a counter-attack here. First shot blocked, second shot actually went through, on f and thankfully for us, because Skriniar was so far up the pitch, it meant Haaland was unmarked, it meant Haaland could hit on his left foot, it meant Haaland could make it 1-0. 3-0 on aggregate. There is no coming back for Barcelona now. Two away goals and a home goal. They really, really needed to get the first goal in this game if they held any chance of getting into it. As Jaden Sancho down this right-hand side. Man in the middle and he's going to man to the outside as well. But he's going to go alone here as he looks to skip past Skriniar. Can't quite do so, but it's a poor clearance from Skriniar. Right back into his path as he's still on the ball. He's going to flick it back over the head. Charges into the space. This time he's stuck by Lenglet, but he still has possession of the ball. I don't know how he is doing this. But again, holding it up. Knocks it through on the stronger left for Erling Haaland. Gets his second goal of the game. The brace against Barcelona. 4-0 on aggregate. We go through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Knocking out Barcelona in the process. And a very good performance from us. If I don't, if you don't mind me saying so. As we continue our form in the Champions League, we look to return to Bundesliga action where we're taking on Augsburg in the Bundesliga away from home. Match day 27. Now, dropped points here could be kind of crucial to us not securing the Champions League, uh, sorry, the Bundesliga title. We need to consistently start winning games. And we've been doing it so far so this season, but we just need to not buckle under the pressure. And 16 minutes in, Berkey tries to play the ball out from the back, and Niederlecker plays the ball through to Stuani. Thankfully, that one's saved, but it falls right back to him. And he tucks the ball into the back of the net. That one is 100% on Berkey. For that poor clearance, resulting in the goal and resulting in us going 1 0 down very early on in this game. Thankfully, though, we've got a lot of time to get back into it, and thankfully, we've got Jaden Sancho in the attack. One on one, he just lays it back to Haaland, and Haaland on his right foot, showing he can do it with both feet, tucks it into the back of the net. He's going to look to grab the match ball, and it is 1 1 now in this game. We look here to kind of get back into it. Jaden Sancho has got slight, the slightest little nick on him there. Just a little nip. Nip on his heel. Referee sees it. Referee spots it. Calls for the penalty. Erling Haaland steps up looking for his second goal of the game. Going for that bottom right-hand corner. A cross goal into the side netting. And it is 2-1. We're now in front in this game. 
just before half time with Erling Haaland doing all the dirty work for us and getting us those goals. But just past the hour mark, Stuani, the man who kind of set up the whole chance for Augsburg in this game, looks to play the ball back as Caligari charging onto the edge of the box. Schinkel gets a tackle in, it falls straight back to him, the Italian winger. Then charges through past Berkey and tucks the ball into the back of the net. Really unfortunate there from Schinkel not to kind of take the ball with him once he'd made that tackle. It got really unfortunate. It bounced away with him. And the game is going to end 2-2. And the whole speech I had about not dropping points has come back and it has bitten us. Because we've dropped points against a relatively easy team. So what we need to do now on match day 28 is bounce back against Wolfsburg after a disappointing result and we actually need to get the win in this one so with the team we've sent out there it is one of our strongest lineups possible for us we need to get a win and we need to just put in a shift basically we really need to put in a shift in this one their team it's a relatively strong one obviously we know Wolfsburg we're experienced with them we had a career mode with them right at the end of last year but three minutes in Jaden Sancho on the ball Looks to skip past his man. He's not going to do so as he holds it up. Plays it to Julian Brandt. He then holds it up and plays it into Haaland who was in so much space in the opposition box. I'm not sure how he got that much space on him. But four minutes in. We're 1-0 up. We've started the game as we mean to go on. But as we go into the 38th minute. Schinkel on the ball. He receives it from the throw-in. Witzel looking to start a counter-attack. He's not quite quick enough as Garcia intercepts and plays it to Arnold. Dinked over up to Marley. He then plays it centrally to Phillips with a lovely through ball on his stronger left foot. Puts it past Berkey. And the game's going to end 1-1. And that is two consecutive games in a row. We have dropped points. And we are, we are letting it slip away. And what I'm going to say is we need to win every single game for the rest of this season if we have any chance of winning the league off. So we do play Bayern Munich at the beginning of May. So that is our chance to steal the title from them. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the return of the Borussia Dortmund career mode. Happy New Year. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Peace.